What's up guys, Graham here. This is a little bit different of a type of video that I'm going to try to do. Since I didn't record any audio for this really, I wasn't talking during the war front, I figured I'd go ahead and narrate it separately and see how you guys like it. If you don't like it, we won't do it anymore and I'll just throw out any of these that I don't have audio on. But I uh, figured I'd give it a shot and see how you guys like my thought process while this is going on. Now naturally we want to go ahead and go around to the back of the team here because they have their focus set forward but as you can see they changed their focus they came back towards me and I have people chasing me right now which is very unusual as in they already had their attention set on going up that left path up towards our base but they turned back around for some reason, so that completely went against my whole strategy. Uh, usually it always works, but I guess this time it didn't. It proved me wrong. So I ate a death right off the bat. No kills, one death already right off the bat. I'm thinking, come on now. You know, if, if I play a superior gameplay uh, strategy then I want to be able to come out ahead and whenever it doesn't go my way I get a little frustrated because it's like you're not doing what you're supposed to apparently you're human beings and you don't act rationally but yeah that's all PvP there as you can see I got the first kill there finally and uh, kind of a little bit happier about that I see we got space boots on the enemy team there now my initial thought is me and him are friends, he's uh, he's also a, li uh, a YouTuber as well. I really don't want to just sit there and make him eat deaths because I could probably do it uh, being a ranger. Ranger is just that type of class. And then I notice he dots me up and I'm like, alright, come on man. But he's playing Reaver so he's going to keep his distance which they're overwhelming us right now so I don't really have the opportunity to kill him even if I wanted to. And... I'm just basically trying to survive right now and I can see that none of my team is in the area I'm basically going to get chased down in a moment uh, we got like two people with me but there's obviously a lot more enemies around than there is allies so we're in a bad spot put it, put it plainly I'm going to die again and I know this and there's nothing I can do about it I'm sure Space Boots was chasing behind me right then and apparently the courtesy I'm giving to him isn't probably being returned, but who, who's to expect that kind of stuff? You know, you're, you're in PvP, it's about killing the other player, and I'm sure that's what he has in mind. Well, I'm thinking, alright, we cannot have this be this terrible of a war front. I mean, they've got both the stones, well, they did have both the stones just a moment ago, They've got a 2-1 lead on us right off the bat. Well, we got to start bringing these guys down. And a big part of why I'm not doing as good right off the bat is because when I play so many different classes and uh, specs that when once I jump on a character and play a certain spec, a lot of times I tend to forget how to play it a little bit. Uh, it's it's kind of natural to you know do the builder and finisher but you know a lot of times the setups are different uh, take for instance with a uh, ranger here I want to have my uh, like my dot up my a shot and all that stuff and normally it shows K alerts underneath my character's feet whenever I'm applying that stuff and I'm not applying it so it's obvious I do not have in mind how to play this character right at this moment and you'll see as the, well there you go already something is popping up right there underneath my character's feet showing that I'm applying things and that basically shows that I'm finally starting to realize hey I'm not even applying all the stuff I'm supposed to be applying so let's get this underway let's start getting our dots up our damage increase and all that stuff so as this warfront progresses you'll see me start applying that stuff more often and that's just the curse of playing so many different specs like I do. Uh, you know, we, I always try to be a very good player in any spec that I play, but man, whenever you're just swapping back and forth uh, between all the different classes and specs, 
it's so hard to always remember where all of your buttons are at. Like just recently I was in a conquest match and I hopped on my mage and I never play my mage anymore these days because I just don't enjoy playing pyro all that much. And mage just does not have that many options. So here I jump on my pyro and I go into CQ and my guildies that are on the enemy team automatically target me and come rushing at me to bring me down and bringing me down is always like a big feather in their cap because it's so much fun trying to kill me because I'm usually pretty difficult to kill and I had no idea how to play my pyro since I never play it and I was trying to hit my uh, my port ahead you know where I can uh, warp you know whatever it is 15 meters ahead or whatever and instead I hit my soul stream and it's like man I just do not know how to play this character right now and that's kind of what I run into whenever I switch between so many different specs like I do uh, currently. So, as you can see, I had many opportunities to hit space boots already, but I chose not to. I, I'm always clicking off of them and targeting somebody else because there's always somebody else to kill. Why I have to target him, you know? It, uh, if he's the last man standing, then he's definitely going to go down, but that's definitely not my intention. Uh, and, and you can tell he's a good player too because look at the way that he's moving his character. That's what I stress so much in PvP and people do not seem to understand. A lot of people go, man, you're just uh, you're, you're a two button pusher and all this stuff. And yeah, you know, I set up my burst for particular times. A lot of times I save my combo points for... Uh, you know, throwing a finisher onto somebody as they're getting low so I can finish them off before they can get a heal. There's a lot of strategy that I use, but the most important thing is movement. All the time, you've got to be moving in PvP. And, man, I mean, people just do not understand that, but yet Space Boots does. And uh, you'll see him always keep his distance whenever he's fighting us there. And that is an extremely smart strategy. And see, he, he might have got up close for a moment there, like chasing a kill, but you see he gets back behind his team, he line of sights, he does what he needs to do in PvP, and that is a good player there. Now, there are a lot of people that just play like high burst specs and go out there and face roll with healers and stuff like that, and then they get high kills, or else they play like a a big dot spec like a, a warlock or something like that and they just happen to get kills because they're just doing so much damage and spreading around and they're lucky enough that their dots are getting the last hits and stuff like that but a good player will use movement to the maximum efficiency and that's something that I pride myself on is that I always keep my movement going I will almost never play a spec that has to stand still and you know, it makes me think to whenever I release my Warlock spec. I specifically made this spec to where it can move at all times. And almost everybody that plays Warlock plays it to where you have to stand still and do the Void Bolt or whatever. And I will never play a spec that has to stand still and cast a channeled ability like Void Bolts and stuff like that. And, you know, it's a little bit different with Inquisitor where they can stand still and use their burst. I don't like standing still to do my burst like Inquisitors have to, but then again, I will never play a spec that its normal attack is going to be standing still. And whenever people posted my Warlock spec on the forums and they said, look at this spec, it's insane, blah, 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 all this stuff, you had these big Warlock players that were going, Oh my gosh, Grim is terrible. Why would you ever not cast Void Bolt? And it's like, because you're not a PvPer or you do not know PvP. You've got to stay moving. And if you've got to stay still, then you are terrible at PvP in general. And these guys do not understand it. I think it was a guy named Snap on the forums that was going, you, you are a terrible player because you don't stand still in PvP because you've got to cast Void Bolt. It's like, no, no, you are the bad player, trust me. And the, the guy just had no concept of how to play PvP. Uh, might be good at it in PvE, don't get me wrong, you can stand still a lot in PvE and that might be like a strategy for a lot of people, but 
in PvP is not about the highest DPS or anything like that. It is about movement. You've got to stay moving. You've got to be able to make yourself not a favorable target to your enemies. And whenever you stand still and you're casting stuff like, uh, take for instance, a Void Bolt or a Fireball, guess what? I'm going to look at you like you are a prime target. You are somebody that is trying to put out maximum DPS, and I see that because I'm seeing what you're casting, and also you are a stationary target. You are very favorable to me to make you my next target to kill, and everybody else is probably going to see the same thing if they PvP quite a bit. And you, you've just got to realize how important movement is. And it, it frustrates me. As you can see, I just went on a rant because it frustrates me whenever people think they are right about PvP and they don't move in PvP. It's just crazy to me. And it makes me think of like the range classes also that uh, believe that they don't need any defenses because they're a range class. It's like I'll throw in like Rift Stalker with my Ranger build and stuff like that so that I can take a hit whenever melee gets onto me and people believe hey you're a range class you don't need defenses you're going to be at range you don't need any kind of uh ability to survive at all and it's like no man if melee is built to close the gap they're built to come after you and kill you so if you have no way of surviving that you are going to suffer in pvp it's a whole different game you know it's people just don't understand it um, but obviously Space Boots does. Space Boots is keeping his distance this entire fight. He is making sure that he's not going to be ganked like you see everybody getting ganked right now on the enemy team. You'll see Space Boots always keep his distance. See, he sees everybody rushing at him. Guess what he does? He starts kiting back. He's, he's still applying his damage while he's kiting back and doing a good job. And that's why he's a good player. But... You know, he has the same kind of strategy as me to where it's all about movement. You know, he can spam one button if need be, like I did in my elementalist spec. It was just a one button build to where I was just hitting one button the entire time. Unless I get in trouble, then I can hit a second button. But yet, I still would top kills and uh, do well without dying because of movement. It's all about the movement, guys. All right. End rant there. I, I'm done talking about it. I, I've been ranting and raving for this entire war front over this. But maybe you guys will enjoy this kind of video where I'm ranting and raving about particular things. Who knows? You guys might think it's terrible and think I'm just a crybaby and, you know, like to complain about other people. But who knows? You guys might enjoy it and ask for more of these. But. As you can tell, the tide is definitely turned in this war front. It doesn't look like we're going to win it, even though we got both stones, because we've only got 20 seconds left. It's probably going to end in a tie here. Uh, if they're smart, they're going to defend their base, uh, their cent central node that needs to be capped. They're going to defend it like crazy so that they don't lose the match. But at this point, I mean, what's the, what's the point, really? Uh, you're you're not they're not going to win so why make it a tie anyway but as you can see i went 16 to top kills low deaths let's see how space boots did uh he went 11 and 1 he took one death but did really well i mean that's how he survives as you can tell me and him are the lowest in deaths on the entire screen because we play a certain way that is built to win in pvp Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. As usual, my name is Grim, and I will see you next time.